Germain Tillon (1907–2008) was a remarkable French ethologist, resistance fighter, and Holocaust survivor, whose life story is a testament to courage, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of justice and truth. Born in Allegra, Haute-Loire, France, Tillon was raised in a family with a strong sense of civic duty and intellectual curiosity. Her early exposure to various cultures and her mother's influence as a feminist and educator shaped her worldview. In the 1930s, Tillon specialized in ethology, studying under renowned anthropologist Marcel Moss. Her fieldwork in Algeria from 1934 to 1940 was pioneering, focusing on the Berber culture, particularly the role of women in their society. Her work, Le Harem et la Cousin, 1966, based on these experiences, became a significant contribution to anthropology and gender studies. However, Tion's life took a dramatic turn with the onset of World War II. Witnessing the fall of France in 1940, she joined the French resistance. Her activities were multifaceted, from gathering intelligence to helping prisoners and escapees. Her resistance network, the Musée de l'Homme group, was one of the earliest to fight against the Nazi occupation in France. In 1942, the Gestapo arrested Tillon, and she was eventually deported to the Ravensbrück concentration camp for women in Germany. Despite the horrific conditions, she continued to observe and document life in the camp, maintaining her ethologist's perspective. Her detailed notes would later become crucial historical evidence of the atrocities committed in Nazi camps. Tion's remarkable spirit shone even in captivity. She wrote and staged a satirical play, The Availables in Hell, in Ravensbrück, using humor as a form of resistance and to boost the morale of her fellow prisoners. After the war, Tion's focus shifted to justice and reconciliation. She testified in war crime trials and was instrumental in advocating for the humane treatment of German prisoners and the reconciliation between France and Germany. Her commitment to understanding and bridging cultural divides continued with her return to Algeria during the Algerian War. She openly criticized the use of torture by both sides and worked tirelessly for a peaceful resolution, often at great personal risk. Tion's later years were dedicated to writing and lecturing, sharing her experiences and insights from a life spent in the pursuit of understanding, peace, and justice. She authored several books, including Ravensbrook, 1973, an account of her time in the concentration camp, which is considered an essential work in Holocaust literature. If her story has inspired you, like it has so many, remember to share this video and keep the spirit of Germain Tillon alive by advocating for peace, understanding and justice in our own communities. Don't forget to subscribe for more inspiring stories from history and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.